Well, here we are. Welcome to Raven Rock. Today a new adventure begins on the channel, and if you're new around here, let me explain how things work. On this channel I like to lock myself within the walls of a major town in video games, primarily Elder Scrolls and Fallout. I like to see how much content can be explored and how much fun can be made within a limited experience. With last week's upload we've taken the walls out of the equation by beginning a journey to play Fallout 4 without leaving the glowing sea, part 2 coming for that soon, but I also wanted to include a similar Skyrim experience. It is after all the game that most people watch my channel for, and I I wanted to go big for this one, which is why I've let my insatiable lust for a new region locked experience decide that we're not only going to be attempting to complete as much content as possible by beginning and ending our Skyrim journey on the island of Solstheim, we're also going to be doing it on legendary difficulty. We also had our friend DDM create a plugin that resets our skills to level 1 every 5 seconds because honestly I'm not sure, I just wanted to see how it plays out. So come along for the ride as I, apparently Bethesda's tour guide, take you on yet another stupid journey in an effort to answer the question, can you play Skyrim without leaving Solstheim? Alright I started recording, new game, let's do this. I wish I got tired of going through Skyrim's intro, but I have to admit, I've done it so many times now for the channel that it's become kind of cathartic for me, and like usual, our journey starts sat across from Rayloff. Hey, you. Meet Craig, the main character of our journey and the vehicle through which you'll be vicariously experiencing this painful adventure. You can use an alternate start mod to begin in Solstheim, but that's not my style. I like to go through the intro. If you're like me, then you'll have a tough time remembering just where to even begin with this island. It's a lot of content and really overwhelming at first, and even at the time of writing the script, we've still barely scratched the surface, so take a walk around town and get to know the locals. I don't recognize you. State your intentions. Uh, yeah, none of your business. I'll get the coin, I promise. If you want that beautiful wife of yours to stay that way, you better. Oh, wait, hold on. Can I be on your team? It seems like a winning battle if I take this guy's side. Stay out of my way. Okay, never mind. Screw trying to make friends. You're naked with no clothes, so finding at least some method of making starter cash is a good plan. If you know me, you know I love honest labor in these games, so pick up a job harvesting ash yams. See, I don't always have to be an asshole, guys. Value zero. On second thought, maybe that's not the best plan, but uh, chopping wood, that's always a good idea. Oh, a woodcutter. Oh, good gosh. Okay, we can actually work as an honest merchant. A wood chopping block that's not previously owned by anybody else. This is incredible. He wants his block back. He wants his block back. I'm not letting him take the block back. Oh, 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 oh. I can buy clothes. I, I can, um,. I can buy clothes. Five minutes of wood chopping later, I realized I can't traditionally sell my wood to anyone, but maybe I can pawn it off for super cheap. Wait, whoa, where are you going? Wait, come back. Hold on. I have to sell you these. No, don't leave me. Ah, uh, everyone's going to the nightclub. I guess I can lumber in there with a shit ton of wood. I can't sell him the wood? Who doesn't buy wood? It's firewood. She won't sell the fire. Oh. Does nobody in town at all buy firewood? That sucks. Yeah, I try to be an honest laborer. I always try, but it never works. So just go to the church and steal some donations. It's better served in your pockets than going to waste on someone's grave. If they were worthy of it anyway, they'd still be alive. Ooh, and make sure to grab the lockpick in here as well. It'll be useful in a bit. All right, some starter gold is nice, and we could do our usual thing with these videos, nickel and dime our way to godly ability, but this time things are different. We have an entire island of near limitless possibility in comparison to a place like Whiterun or Solitude. Quests are everywhere in Soul's time, so get out there and prove yourself. How hard can it be? That foolish old man's taking my pickaxe again. It's good that we start small, especially since we have next to no ability, equipment, or skills. Head up to the mine where you'll find two lovers in a quarrel to start this quest. Last time you explored the mine, you almost fell to your death. Just let me go, woman. You're an obstinate old fool and you're going to get yourself killed. Sorry, don't mind me. You guys go through your dramatic argument. Let me just, oh, we're close. Gloves, leather helmet. I can take that and sell it. Why is all this free? Who in the blazes are you? I'm the man who just robbed you legally. I don't even know who you are. I'm just exploring around, taking all the clothes I could find. You didn't notice the naked guy walking in? We came here for a pickaxe, which the old man will end up giving us, but there's an entire quest underneath inside the caves that we need to go through. It's the typical Skyrim stuff. My, my friend went down there and a uh, notebook with a key, uh, find a sword, you know, the whole thing. Okay, Skeever. <laughs> I've already caught a disease. Help! I know you just sent me on this quest, but I need you to save me. 
Uh, oh god, man, you're crazy. I'm not going down there. This quest is too hard. I quit. <laughs> All right, one kill. And frankly, not too bad. We're still alive. I'm feeling confident. I think this might be easy after all. Holy Christ almighty, that thing has so much health. Wow. <laughs> I've barely even made a dent into this spider. I'm gonna need poisons or... Stop screaming. I'm taking... Also, why are you surprised? This is your basement. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Run. There's someone there. Did he just go down there? Look at that, we're already at level two. I guess one-handed. Guess it's all clear now. Okay, so I underestimated a little bit. Big whoop. It's not like these five minute single enemy encounters will get old, right? Right? Now, I should probably explain the weird level up notifications that you saw. Our skills do reset to level 1 every 5 seconds like I said. This means it's really easy to level them up, sometimes so fast they'll jump up multiple levels. This also means we're still gonna earn XP towards leveling our character and choosing to increase our health, stamina, or magicka. The real debuff from this plugin is that our weapons won't scale with our skill level very much, and we'll be locked to only taking the first perk in every skill tree. So outside of gaining XP at a pretty fast rate at the beginning, we're gonna need to find gear to offset our terrible stats. You may call this cheesy because it's a creation club item added by way of playing on the anniversary edition of Skyrim, but I want to craft a mage's backpack. It's fairly easy to make and provides an immediate 75 carry weight bonus along with 20 extra points of magicka. Also, it's my channel and I can do whatever the fuck. One corundum ingot and three leather is all we need. If you followed alongside me step by step, the leather should be just outside of your price range, but fear not. We still have that one lockpick from earlier and the blacksmith's house is bound to have extra leather lying around. Around. I'm not gonna be able to sneak at all because my sneak is at level one. This guy's watching me in the back. Stop staring at me. I don't want to go to jail. It's too early for me to go to jail. Shit. Shit. No. Stop. Stop it. Please. God damn it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, oh, you son of a. You've committed crimes against the Dunmer people of Solstheim. Fuck off. You won't catch me alive. Okay, he's got to have leather in here somewhere. Leather, 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 leather. Do you have leather in here? I am not. Oh, he has cowhide. Points. Good enough. Shit, I wasn't expecting to get killed in one hit. But in here, death isn't the worst outcome. It's inexplicably an escape from the law. Apparently. They not follow me in here? Did the guards not follow me in? Huh. All is well. And honestly, it should be legal for me to take from him. Okay, I bought a Corundum ingot. We'll probably get arrested right when we leave. But I want to try... Oh, shit. Uh... <laughs> Nice! That looks like gas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's definitely gas in there. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, they have a lot of health. How many of you are there? You don't have any other friends, do you? You do have friends. There we go. That's the... <laughs> Stop. Don't swing that thing directly at me. How did they all avoid the trap? How does that happen? I'm dead. Shit. Okay, decent amount of damage. A couple of them are almost dead. As long as I keep this one isolated from the others, though, we should be able to take him out. As his teammate rounds the corner. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you, sir. Dickhead, you weren't invited. Oh, no. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, I'll admit, confidence level was way too high after getting let off the hook by the cops. Like, I'm talking, sorry, officer, won't happen again, even though I had an ounce of meth in the trunk of my car, confidence. I'm talking the frat boy who's visiting home for the holiday during break, confidence. If I'm going to get through this dungeon, I'll need more help. Remember the blacksmith we robbed? Well, we're going to do it again, but we'll use some trickery this time. In the basement of Glover Mallory's house is a locked door. See, Glover is a member of the Thieves' Guild and brother to Delvin. Remember Delvin, the one that sounds like a drunk Captain Price? Bedlam jokes. We met him back in our Riften video. Glover is also the father to Sapphire in Riften, and if the canon of all these videos is continuous and interlocked, he probably wouldn't be our biggest fan. Normally, Glover has a quest that grants access to this locked room, but we can't do it since we aren't Thieves' Guild members, so as is tradition at this point, 
grab a plate from upstairs and ram your face into the door. <gasps> Horizontal. Horizontal! Stop going vertical! Bastard plate. I'm so close. I can it, I can taste it. Where the hell did the plate go now? I lost the plate! Oh. I did not lose the plate. Plate located. Mm. I couldn't finish right at the climax of that song. I'm disappointed in myself. There's a ton of valuables in here, and a full set of Black Guard's armor, which is basically Thieves Guild armor with some small buffs, but it's sleeveless, so extra cool points. Now, I got in here using a plate, which plenty of people have let me know throughout my videos is the superior way to glitch through walls. Everyone hates on baskets, like they've been wronged at some point in their life by coiled wicker. That, or they'll even suggest using console commands, which, come on. If you're gonna cheat, that's just the coward's way out, and the fact that someone in my Twitch chat had the audacity to suggest using such a tactic, I knew I had to nail this. Not just for stupid glitches, but for basket superiority. No, 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 we don't, no. Console commands, what, what are you talking, have you seen any of my videos? Console commands, are you crazy? Boom! Console commands what? I'm sorry. You want me to use what? Huh? What console commands? I don't want to see any more guff in my comment sections about baskets anymore, all right? They are valid and they are awesome. Respect our boys in brown. All right, so you've gotten a ton of loot. Legal, I might add, and the fun way to offload it is by selling it to the guy you just stole it all from. He's too stupid to recognize his super secret sentimental locked in the basement riches anyway. Now with the money that you've earned, you can buy some weapons and even hire Teldrin to be your follower at the tavern across the road. Personally, I'm not sure how I feel about bringing a follower along for this series since apparently he's pretty overpowered, but I'm desperate, so we'll have him tag along for the first few quests and see where we're at. A full suit of armor, maybe a weapon or two, and now a follower at your side. It's time to get your first quest under your belt. Okay, you're just showing off now, dick. I brought you along so you could be a side character, okay? Hmm? You don't get to make main character moves like that. <laughs> okay, well, that's, that's three times now, Teldrin. Four times? How many times are you gonna step on the trap? You're an idiot. She's pissed. Okay, you take that one, I'll fight this one. Never mind, this one's already dead. Oh my god, I don't do any damage. I do nothing. Teldrin! Teldrin! Oh, hey, come on! There you go, Teldrin. You can hold him off, right? Uh-oh, okay, Teldrin's down. Teldrin's down, run. Here's what makes the combat so tough. I mean, as an editor, it's much harder doing combat sequences when most enemies take upwards of three minutes to take down. Do I explicitly show you how long these damage sponges take to kill, or do I assume that you're smart enough to know it takes a while? Against my better judgment, I'll go with the latter of the two. But I think it's clear by now that I stand no chance on my own, and Teldrin just got knocked down, which basically means I have to run away and buy Teldrin time to passively heal and get back into the fight. Yes, it makes me feel like an absolute coward, but it's what's necessary to win. This dungeon is gonna be a grind. And this is the easy part too, by the way. Crap, just killed one. One down, Teldrin, we got this. Just don't let the trap kill you. Oh! What is, what is with the Teldrin hype? I, do, do you guys not realize I carried him through that fight? The guy can't even walk around a trap. Teldrin is overrated and annoying. <laughs> Clear out another room of standard enemies, although standard in this context means 15 minutes of shooting arrows, letting Teldrin tank and backtracking to stay alive. Keep moving forward through the dungeon while keeping your eyes peeled for traps. Uh, Mara, I do not, I don't have a page. <laughs> ah, shit, mother f when did I save? When did I- Now the next room is brutal. I'm gonna be straight up with you. Two Draugr Death Lords and company. Pick up your sword, Teldrin. <laughs> what if I just took his sword from him? <laughs> did he- is he down down? He's not down down, is he? Oh my god, he's down down! There you go, Teldrin. Oh, you f***ing asshole. I gotta get him to step in the trap. It's the only way. Oh! Oh, you son of a man, he's like a linebacker. It won't go. It won't activate. The trap's just stuck, I can't use it anymore. Nice little stumble, he'll go down to his knee soon. 
I can't even injure him when he's down on a knee. I can't hurt him. It's impossible. <laughs> he's getting away. Teldrin, we can't let him escape. For Christ's sake, would you just... Please? He just survived a kill cam. Die. Two kill cams? How many kill cams can he survive? Just take my word that we finished him off. There's still one more Draugr Death Lord left, and this one went uh, somehow worse. You all right, Teldrin? I need Teldrin to push the attack on him instead of trying to shoot arrows. Hopefully distract him enough to where Teldrin pushes. This guy's locked in with those arrows. It's like John Wick. Woo, hey, 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 that was close. Come on, Teldrin. I need you to push the offensive. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I have 190 health and he's killing me in one hit. Oh God, I can't get past this bridge. I blocked it. Okay, Teldrin, I need you to get up here now, please. He still wants to shoot at me, which is kind of a good thing. Oh, not a good thing, not a good thing. Come on, Teldrin. Teldrin, he's gonna shoot me. There you go, let it rip, let it rip. Boom. Oh. It's just such, this is such an awkward arena to try and take this guy out in. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, you dickhead. I... How did that? It took a total of 27 minutes to clear out this room. I didn't even include all of my deaths, but we finally made headway, knocked this guy off the bridge, and <laughs> finally cleared out this room. Really, this was just a fight of endurance. Anytime we made a marginal decrease in the Draugr Death Lord's health, I would try and find a safe place I could save, and then I'd give myself a little checkpoint. It took so long. The cave then opens up into this big room where you'll find a journal filled with more typical Skyrim stuff. I came here to adventure and find the great unknown, blah, blah, blah. It's literally in the mine. How is it that big of a secret? There's a giant locked door that needs to be unlocked with one of my favorite weapons in all of Elder Scrolls, a giant two-handed sword that shoots freaking laser beams. How is that not badass? The laser it shoots deals 30 damage, which for us is gonna help out a decent amount, seeing as most of our melee attacks have had the strength of your punches in a dream. Use the lasers to open the door, and in the next room lies the big final boss of the dungeon. You will die here. A lot. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, Teldrin, fight's back here. Figure it out, get over there. Yeah, yeah, okay, your fireballs are the best thing, and you are, do you have aimbot? Oh, give me a break. Oh, okay, don't, I, I thought we were friends. The problem, especially right here where I quick saved, he gets into this little corner. I think I need to just wait until he comes out of the corner and try to quick save again. Get an attack on him and run. Oh my gosh, we're not even putting a dent into him. <laughs> the way Teldrin takes cover, what, what are you, what? I mean, what is that? What do I pay you for? Oh, Teldrin's pushing the offensive. I like it, Teldrin. I gotta find a good angle. Oh, not a good angle. <laughs> not a good angle whatsoever. How did Teldrin get all of his health back? Hold on. Teldrin, Chad. Come on, Teldrin. The Black Book. Oh, no. Oh, uh-oh. Wait, hold on. I wanted to read the book. 